All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And um, I had seen this on the feed. This is from ROT. All right, and the title is 73% of U.S. respondents, government crooked, unaccountable. All right, so here in this show, this quick three-minute show, you know, they give the percentage of what people think about America here in America. All right, which this place is biblically called Babylon the Great. And, you know, it's like they know it's, you know, it's, it's nothing good. But they still make light of it and justify, you know, like it's okay. All right. Well, the saying is you can't shove shit under a rug. All right. Because eventually, you know, it's, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stink. You know, the shit, you know, the smell stinks. So you can't shove shit under the rug. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to make an end to this place in which you call America. All right. Which is known as Babylon the Great. So I'll play a little bit out of this video, and uh, Lord willing, I hope you're edified. All right, here's something that'll come as no surprise to anyone. A new Pew Research poll reveals that 73% of Americans believe the government, its legislators, and the courts are crooked and unaccountable to the public. It didn't even matter which party those polled favored, both sides of the aisle shared a mutual disdain for the government. Is that the only overlap they shared? For more on this, let's go to veteran journalist, host of News with Rick Sanchez, Rick Sanchez. Rick, wasn't this kind of a no-brainer? <laughs> You know, that's a great point, Manila. Really, when you think about something like this, you can't help but come away convinced that, yes, I'm living in America right now, and I do get the sense that there's a lot of anger, there's a lot of uh, divisiveness, and there's a lot of doubt about the capabilities of the people who are leading us right now. But here's the good news. Here's the good news. Let's go back 100 years. Let's go back 150 years. And guess what people were thinking and saying back then? The same damn thing. Mark Twain, probably one of the most famous Americans. All right, so you see, you say, you know, you go back 100 years. You know, the good thing is, is that if you go back 100 years, the people were saying the same thing. Well, that's true, but this... Is different all right this is the end of Esau okay and let me get a scripture just proves you know even in this little show it proves that America is Babylon the great this is Proverbs 29 and 2 when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice but when the wicked bear rule the people mourn it all right so he said it you know if you go back a hundred years the people were saying the same thing about the government officials, the politics, that they're crooked, unaccountable, wicked. All right. Well, it shows you who's ruling the earth. Esau, Edom. And it's a beautiful thing, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, because we at the end of his rulership. So it says, when the righteous are in authority, and right now, who? Uh, well, let me say, let me read it, Salakia. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So when the righteous are in the, the authority and have the sovereignty, okay, then the people will rejoice. It says, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. All right, and that wicked is Esau, Edom. Start with these elites, all right, the, uh, the uh, international bankers, in particular the Rothschilds, okay? So, you know, from here, I want to go to uh, Revelation 17 and 5. It says, verse 4, And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And who is that? Okay, this is a vision that John, the revelator, he had in looking at this dynasty or this, this kingdom today. And, and what it was made of, okay, it was 
it was this beautiful woman arrayed in purple and scarlet color. She had beautiful colors on, right? She stood out. It says in deck with gold and precious stones and pearls, meaning the place was rich. You know, they wax abundance. Having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. So the cup represents the, the mannerism, you know, and how they conduct themselves in this place. All right. Full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Now it says verse five. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And without a shadow of a doubt, that is America. All right. Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots. Everyone with any sense, all right, knows that this place, you know, it's like a head. Okay. When it comes to politics, it comes to um, democracy and the standard of things, the way Esau runs it, this place, all right, sets that standard, you know, even though. America comes out of Britain, even though Britain is the mother of America. All right. But it, it, it's, it, it's, it's that place that every other country want to be like. All right. You got the Israelites here. OK, you got the superstars. You have the athletes, the movie actors. All right. You got the best of the best. This place was uh, in, in a state of glory at one point. You know, everyone wanted to leave their country and come here. They wanted to be free. They thought, you know, they believed in the American dream. So it says, upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. All right. And uh, I want to read judgment that the Lord is going to bring upon this place. So this is Revelations 18 and 19. And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, at last, at last. That great city where, wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness. For in one hour is she made desolate. All right. And everybody, um, <clears throat> everybody knows that this place is a cash cow for every other nation. All right. They come here. They make their money off the backs of. You know, in the consuming of Jake and they send their money back home and they live good. All right. This place is your cash cow. But guess what? It is falling. The most high is destroying it from the inside out. And, and, and eventually he's going to destroy it by the way of thermonuclear fire. So it says for in one hour is she made desolate. So the Lord is only going to take but an hour. All right. To destroy this place off the planet. It says, verse 20, rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for Yahweh have avenged you on her. Check that out, man. All praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It says, rejoice over her. So we're going to rejoice when this place fall, when Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai take it out. It says, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets. Who are the holy apostles and prophets? You see them. All right. You see the apostles and elders here at Great Millstone. You see the uh, prophets around the world teaching through the four corners of the earth. All right. Those that are teaching in the sincerity and truth with 100 percent truth. OK, it says for Yahweh have avenged you on her. So the Lord is avenging, avenging us, man. All right. Yahweh Shai is the true avenger. Verse 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone. Uh oh. Uh-oh, great millstone, and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall be found no more at all. Alright, so the Lord, when he get rid of this place, this place will be found no more. As the scriptures uh, prophesies, this place will be a desert, man. A straight wilderness. It says, verse 22, And the voice of harpers and musicians... And the pipers and the trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee. And no craftsman, craftsman of whatsoever craft he be shall be found any more in thee. And the sound of a millstone 
shall be heard no more at all in thee, and the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thou merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thou sorceries were all nations deceived. All right, let me read that again. For by thou sorceries were all nations deceived. It says, and, and, in her, and in her was found the blood of the prophets and, the, and of the saints, the Israelites, and, and of all that were slain upon the earth. All right, I'll leave a link to the video. You can watch the rest of it, you know. Uh, RT News, 73% of U.S. respondents, government crooked, unaccountable. All right, everybody knows that this place is wicked. Everybody is, is uh, you know, being aware of uh, Esau Edom today because he's being revealed in his time. All right. So I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.